All right, and welcome back to Aquaria. Uh, I'm Breadmaster, and this time we'll be exploring the Energy ki- Energy Temple. Yes, uh, and I am Gib Loki. And we don't have the Morph Ball, so we can't go that way. <laughs> morph Ball. Just like in Metroid. Hey! Uh, references. <laughs> Guess who can be super small? Not us right now. Not us, no. Oh, but here's our first mini boss. And still, we don't have any way to attack, so this is a game of yeah. Simon Says. Yeah, so you're just singing to match the colors, and you're trying to get it to destroy those. Uh... Oh, those those are just decoration. The the lamps. Oh, okay. It's just. Well, it's. Oh, okay. I thought it was indicating health. No, you just have to do it four times. It's. Or four times or five times? I didn't actually count. But every time you do it, uh, it shoots out more projectiles. They yeah. aren't that hard to dodge, and you can just sit there with shield up and be fine. I'm going to safely ignore this. Oh, we broke it. Oh, no. <laughs> we broke the Chozo statue. It's interesting how everything comes out of the mouths of these things. Well, it's singing. Yeah. Where blood had flowed through me, now ran a stream of pure power. They now you scary. <laughs> My mind reeled at the dark gift I was granted. If I sang the song of this deceased god, I would become... A being of pure energy. So this is the form we had in that vision. In this form, I could sense the lines of energy that flowed throughout the waters. Using my mind as a flint, I could spark a projectile that could leap towards anything that <laughs> dared impede my progress. And now you're like, I've got guns! Yeah, this or... is our primary means of attack for the rest of the game. Yeah. Not only could I create a spark... If I focused my mind for a time, I could create a pool of energy so large that it would fracture into tendrils, flashing any creature that drew near. We don't even need to get a separate upgrade for the charge shot. You can just shoot it. Yep. It, it, something the game doesn't tell you, as far as I'm aware. Um, you shoot more charge shots depending on how you move. Uh, if you don't do anything... Really? Normally it's three. Uh, you can get four by spinning out of a dash like that. Mm. Or six if you dash off a wall and spin. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what gave them that decision. Like, that idea of, like, let's do it this way. If, of tying combat efficiency into movement style? Yeah. Um, well, I think it's more of... It, it, it encourages the player to be more mobile in how they navigate fights. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Although it's been a while since I've seen the rest of the game, so I don't remember specifically if there are play. Oh, I accidentally came out of energy form there. The, the shortcut to revert back to normal Naija is to click left and right mouse button on top of her, mm. uh, which you can accidentally do uh, if you're if you're in the middle of a furious battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that... that. Oh, go ahead. Well, I noticed that. And it, this is in your play style. You you tend to do a lot of 180s by you know moving the mouse directly over her. Oh, so yeah, that 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 leads to it. I also forgot uh, a side passage here. Uh, is that why you're going back? Yeah. 
enemies respawn when you enter the room again, so I ignore most of them. Ah uh, yes, you have to move the rock. Yep. Technically we're not supposed to know how to revert back to normal Nyjah yet. Like it's told to us in the next room, I think. But whatever. Uh, it wasn't even that much, it was just a healing poultice. 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 Whatever, I don't a care. A healing thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is the energy temple, and it was not made by the same people as the Song Cave. If you could tell. Mm-hmm. Like, when you say same people, do you mean, like, narratively or design-wise? Uh, narratively. Like, this is a different okay. race entirely. Yeah, yeah, no, I noticed that. Like the faces in the background. I Oop. Yeah. The energy form I could not call out in song. To return, I would have to focus my energy inward. <laughs> this is like the first proper dungeon of the game. Yeah. There'll, there'll be a more the the one the areas we'll see later on are a lot more like this where. Uh, we find a way into them either by gaining a new form or uh, using a recently acquired form and then and then backtracking just a little tiny bit yeah makes sense I mean that's that's a metroidvania yeah it's always like really like, it's right near the beginning where it's like, oh, hey, you're not going to reach this point for a while. Like, this you is know? an obvious door that you can't open yet. Yeah. Al although I think I think Aquaria is good about um, showing exactly where and where you can and cannot go. Yeah. It, it's not like, well, it's not like a platform because we're not jumping around because we're swimming. Yeah. Um, but there's no, like, difficult jumps to make that are required to progress. You yeah. Know? Now, I, I do want to say, so, movement-wise, like, this game looks and feels really nice. It feels like you're swimming through. Like, it's not... It's, it's not like a, um... Oh, I'm showing off the like spicy a, roll. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's not like a top-down uh, shooter, like space shooter. Yeah, yeah. Like, the physics are different. Like, this has a physical type of feel. You know, if A you physical can say type that. of feel, yes. A feel. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. You know it, what I mean. <laughs> the controls but, for movement are... Like, suited the big for the thing, game. you know, and you notice this, or, um, or, well, you may not notice this until somebody points it out, is when you're swimming, when you stop moving forward, you gradually come to a stop. Yep. Like, you don't just immediately go, be like, ah, oh. like, you float. stop, yeah. Now you know what the best thing about a game that's set underwater and doesn't have jumping or running mechanics? What? No ice level. <laughs> well, there could have been an ice level. Yeah, but how would that work? It would just be a lot of big icy blocks in the way that you have to swim around. Those are called icebergs. Well, maybe... Maybe... Oh, also we de-shelled that shoot be... that snail. That poor snail. We're gonna it's kill now him. now naked. But, um... I don't know, how would you do an ice level? Maybe it would be like a thermal thing where you had to, like, find warm water currents or something. That sounds awful. Like, I don't know. It, heat management has always been one of those mechanics that I haven't... You haven't found any that have been done really well. There, 
Only one. Well, it just, it kind of feels like a chore. Yeah. Unless it's, like, the main part of the game, like, um... Cryostasis, I think is it's called. Is it cryostasis? It's well, the one where you're another... time-traveling as well? Like, uh, you, you end up on a Russian yeah. T- tanker? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That one, the, the whole heat mechanic was, like, in of itself a means to an end. Yeah. It's in things like that where it's like, oh, you know, you need to uh, manage how warm you are. We haven't been talking about Aquaria very much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Aquaria, Aquaria is giving us ideas here. Yeah, it's, and this part is kind of hard mean, to focus on because it's. I don't. I don't. I. I say this, and I don't mean it as a bad thing, but it is kind of formulaic. Yeah. It, it is the Metroidvania formula. Exactly. And... There's nothing I wrong mean, with that. Right now, you're you're going through, you're defeating these water iguanas. And... Which, I mean, that's the only thing I can say that these are. I think they're called newts or something in the game files. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we've actually we actually get to see those outside of this area. They might be unique to this place. I might be wrong. Interesting enemy. Just yep. bigger as you attack it. And these shrimp things jump around and shoot at you. Yeah, it's very clear that once you leave home, <laughs> things are very aggressive. Well, this is a place Nigel has never been to, because mm-hmm. un- until the ghost showed her that vision, she was just like, yeah. I'm just going to hang out in this garden, I guess. Mm-hmm. And there's the second of our two keys. Yes. Now, actually, you're mu- more musically inclined than I am, but I want you to listen very closely to the, the main melody of the song right now. Hold on, it's not playing right now. But there's an there's a vocal <laughs> track. There's a vocal component to it. Uh, and if you listen closely, you'll hear a melody that gets played throughout a lot of the, the soundtrack. Also, this we're going to have to come back for. That message is just incomprehensible. Yeah, two E's is not uh, enough. Now I'm listening... Which, I mean, we said it like every episode so far. This and the soundtrack has a made fantastic the fantastic so- like soundtrack. Yeah, this which one... I mean, a game about singing is it's gonna have to have a good soundtrack. Like, if the soundtrack is boring or just uninspired. A game like this can't really succeed, I don't think. The main reason why I want you to listen to the soundtrack, or the, to the songs playing in these areas, mm-hmm. is because the main melodies, or the, the, the through line, the, the melody that keeps coming up, yeah, is broken up into the songs we sing. Ah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, as we find more, you'll, you'll start hearing it more and more. Mm-hmm. Which I think is like... That's great, just sound design. Yeah. And uh, composing, so. Yeah. Um, I think Aquaria was... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Aquaria was the first game I bought a soundtrack for. Of any, of any video game I had ever played. Yeah. Just because you enjoyed it so much? Yeah. Uh... I bought several soundtracks, but... What was the first one? I want to say it was Super Meat Boy. Yeah. And even though I've only gotten to, like... I finished the first area of (laughs) Super Meat Boy... Yeah, that's pretty much where I stopped, too. Like, I was just not coordinated enough for that game. And... But listening to the soundtrack... Oh, man. I think... And then, of course, I bought FTL... 
Yeah. Soundtrack. I bought World Ends With You a uh, second mm. after Aquaria. Here we go, deeper down. Mm-hmm. It's still following, like, it's, it's a mix between manufactured and then, like, oh, hey, we just dug this out and... Like, this, this temple is falling or, apart? Yeah. Kind of a... Oh, damn! <laughs> right. There's bosses in this game, too. Yeah, well... And we can't sea actually kill this guy with our, with our energy shots. Yeah, but you can steal his pearl. Yep. And if we put it in this thing... <laughs> we can puzzle our way to a solution. Aha! This guy doesn't have... I like, have figured... I have figured it out. Yeah, this guy unfortunately doesn't have like a, a proper name. He's that's just a called... really awkward way of moving. Yeah, he's. But it's also it's like he's like okay, I'm stuck. Just let me move. Poor in cat. the in the game files, he's called the Fallen God. Yeah. Um. Well, look at him. He's yeah, like he... half skeletal. His skin's like melting. He looks like he's rotting. Yeah. It's like, he used to be like, full cat, but some horrible scientist was like, let he me was full take cat a fishing, cat. Man. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I went there. He, he's a catfish. He has a cat head. Now, after the second time, he won't actually walk onto the trap, so you have to bait him into an attack and then time it. Like so. Aha. As the creature fell, I sensed a presence reach into my mind. Another vision began. Man, she's remembering all sorts of stuff. A race. Known as the Crotites, had built this temple to worship. March of the Crotites. They'd honored raw power above everything else. Unlike the spirit I'd encountered in the crystal, these people had no interest in creation. They reveled in destruction. Their lust for power led not only to the downfall of their civilization, but also the destruction of another. Oh. This destructive power simmered within me. So the bad guys are, well, not necessarily bad guys, but... But overly aggressive ov guys. Overly aggressive guys that, uh... Bites out themselves and the Illyrians. Exactly. The weird thing about the Crotites, Which... especially from that end, end shot in that, mm -hmm. what is that they're like half mammal? Yeah, like you can see a hint of fur on them, which is weird for an aquatic creature. Well, I mean, think of a platypus or an otter. A platypus is just like an affront to God. <laughs> 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 it is leftover parts thrown together. Uh, there's a term for all the weird mammals. Basically the ones that are... Egg-laying? Like, Egg-laying mammals. Um, Which uh, are like three. Yeah. Also, that door we can't open because we don't have a pearl for it. And there's no pearl in this area. So that means we're going to have to come back to the energy temple again mm -hmm. later on monotremes yep that's what they are and they are let me see here hurry almost to the end of the video monotremes are platypus echidna and 
and something else. Well, bye. Now you know. <laughs>